Have you cleared the SOP? I'm going to wait to see how it goes a little bit. I know, listen guys, I know there's a lot of salty cops out there that for some reason get off on people sitting in jail for their time instead of a cell where they talk to a cop or an interview fucking table where they talk to a cop or when they're role playing with medics or when they're incapacitated on the ground. For some reason, them being in a cell doing dishes gets their little dicks off or whatever. I don't really give a fuck, okay? I'm willing to test it for a few days and see what happens. And you know, uh, obviously, I think with like violent felonies, there's probably got to be a minimum, but I think it's definitely a step in the right direction to help other people's role play. Not 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 so much the. I think I think the mentality of when you're incapacitated triggers you, right? I don't want to deal with fucking EMS. They're a waste of my time. Doctors are a waste of my time, and that's that's just how the world creates it. But now they're not a waste of your time. You can talk to these people, uh, treat them like humans, and it doesn't feel like it's just making your day worse. You know what I mean? Plus, if cops interview you, it also doesn't make it feel like your day's worse. So there's a, there's more reason to talk to people and actually role play. And it, and if you want to cry about it, honestly, suck my fucking dick. I don't give a shit. We're gonna try it out. You can be a pussy if you want to be a pussy, but all that means is you're a pussy. Okay? I, I already told command to fuck up about it. Let's just test it out. Stop being a fucking bitch, okay? And see what happens. So fucking weird that like <sighs> going to an imaginary jail is the punishment that these people need to, you know, feel like they've accomplished something. Like I don't, I don't understand, dude. The entire idea is to get the fine and be out of role play for X amount of time. It doesn't matter how you're out of role play for that X amount of time, like you know, civilian okay? role play or that that side of role play. If you're in custody, you're in custody. Who gives a fuck how it's done, dude? You think it's revenge for being down on a scene for an hour? Well, that's the thing. Uh, I don't want to encourage those things either. Is, so, uh, is me on this channel? Or did she ever recover? So, in saying that, I think, uh, I think when it's a violent felony, including, uh, when it includes police shootings, there needs to be a minimum no matter what. Uh, because it shouldn't be your advantage to, you know lay there dead essentially and have zero jail time but at the same time uh you know if you lay there for an hour and a half or well, you're not gonna lay there like, you know maybe you're dead for 20 minutes or whatever um at least you know when you're talking to the fucking uh doctors and shit like that it still isn't a waste of your time but a minimum being there i think makes sense but you know i don't think it needs to be like fucking a minimum of three days or some shit when I'm not gonna up times, guys. I just need to. Ha I think there just needs to be a minimum. Like, why? Why do you think it matters if if you're in handcuffs, unable to play your character? Why does it matter if you're in jail or or not? It's not like you. Uh, it's not like you can do shit anyway. So it will always be a toxic cesspool because every stream is an egotistical fuckwad, dude. What about cops saying they will delay putting on cuffs for down people? Yeah, I mean they can do that, and I'll just delay their fucking whitelist, dude.